Welcome to Messy World. President Donald Trump takes shots at Empire actor Jesse Smollett after calling him a disgrace to our country. Trump attended a political rally on Saturday night in Green Bay, Wisconsin, where he slammed Jesse Smollett. He said, that case in Chicago is a disgrace to our nation. I didn't hear that term until the third-rate actor in Chicago went out and he said, I was beaten up by MAGA country. Can you believe it? All right, so basically Trump went on to say that it turned out to be a total lie. Trump has thrown jabs at Smollett since he was officially made the suspect in the alleged hate crime hoax that he put on. All right, so go ahead and take a look at President Donald Trump trashing Jesse Smollett in this clip. It's called MAGA country. You know, I didn't hear that term until that third-rate actor in Chicago went out and he said, I was beaten up by MAGA country. Can you believe it? Now, that's a hate crime, right? He said he was beaten up by MAGA country. Turned out to be a total lie. But think of it, MAGA. Make America great again. And by the way, I have to tell you, that case in Chicago is a disgrace to our nation. It's called MAGA country. You know, I didn't hear that term until that third-rate actor in Chicago went out and he said, I was beaten up by MAGA country. Can you believe it? Now, that's a hate crime, right? He said he was beaten up by MAGA country. Turned out to be a total lie. But think of it, MAGA. Make America great again. And by the way, I have to tell you, that case in Chicago is a disgrace to our nation. Okay, so not only is Donald Trump trashing Jesse Smollett due to his uh, stage hate crime that he committed in February, Kim Fox has also been ordered to appear in court over the Jesse Smollett scandal. All right, a judge is basically subpoenaing her to hand over the Jesse Smollett case after she dropped all 16 charges against the actor. All right, so Kim Fox, who was Chicago's top prosecutor, has been subpoenaed to appear in court for a hearing over her handling of the Jesse Smollett case. All right, the retired appellate judge, Sheila O'Brien, is the one who subpoenaed Kim Fox, along with her deputy, Joseph Magax. So they both are being required to appear at the hearing. So basically what this judge, Sheila O'Brien, is asking for is she's pushing for a special prosecutor to investigate Fox handling of the controversial case. She is saying that Fox handling of the case was plagued with ir irregularity. She is requesting that Fox, Maggox, and Smollett produce the original document in Smollett's criminal case to assure the public that they have not been altered or destroyed and will not be destroyed throughout this case, according to court documents. She's saying that Fox conflict in this matter is beyond dispute. She's saying that Fox should have sought the appointment of a special prosecutor. Instead, Fox misled the public into believing that Smollett's case was handled like any other prosecution and without influence. Of course, Kim Fox is defending her decision to drop Smollett's charges and she welcomes the independent investigation. As you know, Fox did recuse herself after it emerged that she exchanged text messages with a member of his family in the days after the incident. She then elected first assistant state's attorney Joe Baggett to serve as acting state's attorney for the case. Weeks later, the 16 grand jury charges against Smollett were suddenly dropped. All right, and this is Kim Fox defending her decision to drop Jesse Smollett charges. Brothers and sisters, Kim Fox. Cook County State's Attorney Kim Fox was at times grateful, humble, reflective, and defiant in the face of a barrage of criticism of her office's handling of the Jesse Smollett case. Since this case that has garnered a lot of attention has started, there have been 2,900 cases that have gone through the Cook County State's Attorney's Office, not the least of which have been seven homicides, five criminal sexual assaults, 58 aggravated batteries to a police officer. This is the same Kim Fox. 
Earlier this week, Chicago's Fraternal Order of Police held a protest outside Fox's office, saying it has no confidence in her ability to do her job, not just involving the Smollett case, but others. We're upset that the prosecution in this county is not being forceful enough. You can't have cases dropped. Like the one last month when off-duty Chicago police officer John Rivera was shot and killed. The accused trigger man, Menelik Jackson, had been charged with breaking into an ex-girlfriend's home and putting a gun to her head. He pled to a lesser charge and was put on probation out on the street before he allegedly shot Officer Rivera. It has been quite a, a week. Now it's alleged here today that white nationalists were at the protest supporting police, turning this into a racial issue. I'm sorry, I just need a moment. The notion that in a conversation about criminal justice, in a conversation that is, affects all of us, all communities, that the injection of white nationalists in this conversation, for me, I will tell you personally, I was afraid. All right, so let us know what you guys think about this. President Donald Trump slamming Jesse Smollett. Let us know what you think about this. Leave a comment. Please like, share, and subscribe for more messy entertainment.